What's up here? Welcome back to my channel once again. Sat Kibani here, and I'm coming away with another freebie. Like I said earlier on, keep on liking this video, keep on commenting, and then if you haven't subscribed, please do so because I give you guys a lot of freebies because I want to because I love you guys because that's what it is, guys. Thank you for subscribing. I want all my subscribers to have this stuff, and so these are some of the work that I did in the course of the week. I want you guys to have it. What do you say, guys? Just drop a comment in the comment section and then let's do this now the files are here one two three four five five in all and i'm going to show you how to actually use them but also guys remember this is password protected that means that you cannot use it if you do not watch this video to the end the only way guys to support me is to watch this video to the end and to like and comment these three things and i want you to do that for me okay so i'm going to divide the password into three i'm going to divide the password into three and it's one word so once you get all the three passwords just put them together and then you have it don't add the numbers to it as well the numbers are not part of the password okay the password is just all in capital letters and then it's um just um words no 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 numbers in it and so let's go this is the first one uh, i'm going to click on it this is actually a signage keep all layers this is actually a signage or a signboard i did for a man of god some time ago and so it's um let's click on update let me click on control alt and then i let's see the dimension okay so you can see in inches it's like this all right but then you guys you, I, you can also boost it up that is one good thing about it you can just easily boost it up okay so normally i design i would use the size a little bit once i'm done i boost it up again so that is what i do so this is for this pasta and he re he requested for this and so if you have a signage or something that you want to do you can easily use this one template guys also if you are posting this one on your social media handles remember make sure you take out the words change the words change the image change the names change the numbers and then also just change the color scheme if you have to make it your own own it because it now belongs to you don't use the exact same thing so this is the background and then there's the image okay so let me let me convert the image to a smart object okay so all you have to do is just double click the image and then put your image in there once you are done Control s to save it and then the image will reflect over here you want me to show you i'll show you so let's go and then let's go and bring in an image let's bring in what image should we bring in let's bring in this one and then that one i'm going to bring in let's see this gentleman and drag him all the way to photoshop and then release him here okay and then let's just uh resize him up okay let's bring him there enter and then i'll i'll delete this one once i click on i don't want i want his hand his whole body to show okay so once i click on ctrl s and i and i once it's done saving 83 percent it's done saving you can see it reflects over here and then you can just move it around that you want to and so that is it with this one okay let me save this one as well so that is it and then you also have uh you know you can see the the world gospel there and then the activities there the words there that one there that one there that one there that one there as well and the numbers there what is this one this one i got it deleted so guys one thing about designing a signage is that you need to take into consideration the legibility because people are going to watch it from a distance if you're watching it from a distance and then they can't see it it's cost 90 because when designing the flyer or a, a banner sometimes you, you you can get away with it but when it's a signage you need to make sure that from a distance the person can see it from a distance okay so that's just a word of caution there and this is just something i i think i designed this just recently i showed you how to do it just recently so um you can also if you want to design something like this it's over there but then the psd to it is this first you hide this one and then you have access to everything okay you have access to everything i love to really organize my stuff and put them in groups okay so that is that's the background as well okay now once you are done with it merge hide this one merge everything and then open this put it in there okay once you put it in there save it and then now activate it it will work out because this is a smart object and you can see at least some camera raw touches to it so once you put it inside this image 
you're gonna have a very pretty good uh, you know nicely done work it's a good finisher uh, and then um, we also have this one as well now this one I didn't really like the way I worked on the image but the client insisted he wanted it this way and so sometimes once you advise the client the client has his own preference and his own likes you allow them to do it okay uh, this normally I don't do that but this is something that I could get away with so I easily allowed it remember you hide this one okay and then everything you see the background everything is there you can see the background everything is there also some color schemes and um, levels just to make the image a little brighter and then um, let me see there's the image so you can see the images are here okay so feel free and work on the on that one as well um, and then this is the theme um, this is five days but because five days not being used I'm going to delete it and then um, the name all right and then with I also had to enhance the the brightness of the name a little bit enhance the brightness of width a little bit as well and then the Friday is this stuff also had to enhance the color a little bit that one as well was up as well enhance the color a little bit you can see that and then enhance the overall color too then I went to the contact and then the confetti I added the confetti to it as well and then um, I brought in the whatsapp number you can see the time there as well brought all this stuff and then brought this a little bit of uh, you know shine there then I did some some noise brought some noise in there okay so I don't know whether you can see it okay I don't know whether you can see it maybe you can okay but you can see it the noise the the noise blends it nicely now now do not underestimate the power of a noise 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 can save you a lot of stuff so you can see the noise here and the noise here okay and then after i did everything i measured everything this layer and then um you can see i did some little adjustments to it as well okay now it's because it's over here i'm oh, sorry it's over here it's here okay so once you are done with everything measure it and put it inside this particular layer and then just double click it and then put it in there and then that is it okay so that is it with this one too it's very very nice you can use it for your project guys remember edit it change the stuff in there change it we have this one to 13 let's bring this one and the players okay now i did this one some i did this one somewhere in april yeah i believe so don't resolve this is somewhere in april there or about okay so you can see the background is there then i brought in the logo then i brought in the team and then this flare you could also put the flare there and then this is the date and then there's a you know maybe you can't see it. let me show you there was a rectangular but they exactly and then this is the venue this is the contact and then there's some few text down there then the photo itself okay as usual i'm going to convert it to a smart object you can put in any image in there and it will reflect here okay so that is it and then let's close it and then this is the name everything is totally customizable so you can see the caution sign over there is gray that means that i already have the font in there so monsieur i already have it i can double click it and then to still show monsieur works here nicely double click it it still shows monsieur okay now if yours is not color gray but yours is um let's say color you see color yellow over here it means you don't have that font so you have to go and download it so you can go online and then type in the name of the font how do you know the name of the font you can just copy it and then go online paste it there and then add font to the word there then type enter you see we have it over there you can click on it and then easily download it and install it okay so that is how you do it all right so that is how you do it and once I was done with everything, I added some curves to it to work on the color scheme and I added a little bit of this to it as well. Okay, so that is how we did this one. Um, let's close it. Then we have another one. 
I did this one some somewhere last year, maybe last year August or so. Yeah, exactly last year August. So that is 22nd August last year. Um, it's not really. I, I didn't really do much. I just so you can see all this stuff. We can we have to look for a font for it. Okay, regardless stencil, we have to look for it. Now the thing is that I I designed this with the background. Now there are many ways of designing, guys many ways of this and that's why you have to patronize my graphic design course because flyers we there are various layouts of flyers yes and flyers you use the background to design the flyer the background is a very primary role it, it determines how the flyer should be designed and that's what i did okay so i put the image in there and then i weaved the entire text and logo and everything around the flyer so you can see this the background Okay, I, I normally call it illustrative flyers, illustrative flyers, so everything there, you can see the venue there, you can see this one there, you can see that one there, you can see the date there, and then um, the theme or something, something there, and then all I did was bring in this image to reinforce the flyer itself. So these are the flyers for you. Now, if you love this video, guys, as usual, comment, like, subscribe, and give it a 50 like, and I'll drop another uh, PSD files for you again. See you all, guys, in the next video.